Did you ever play with Snake George? No. We no, were just talking about Snake George. But you know oh, Snake George. Yeah, I yeah. played with him. I played oh, really? with Fairbanks. That's how I met Mick. Was it yeah, Fairbanks? Oh, really? Yeah, I played with That's how uh, I met Mick. I played with Fairbanks. He was a funny We were just talking about George, man. <laughs> oh, See, yeah. I miss him sometimes. I think about him sometimes, yeah. Oh, gosh, man. I tell you, that was... Uh, yeah, he was a character. He was yeah. definitely a character. <laughs> I mean, I heard of people that did shows with snakes. Oh, really? But George was the first person that I ever knew that actually went out with a, with a big boy. Oh. And we played up there. There was a place called The Cave. Yeah. Downtown Philly. Downtown. Yeah, that's, that's a true story. I yeah. played with George. I played with George before I met Mick, and we were playing at a college in Teaneck, New Jersey. I can't think of the name of the college in Teaneck, New Jersey. We were playing at a college, and we were running late. And George's snake was called Shazam, and he kept Shazam in a, in a styrofoam ice, whatever, tr uh, whatever bucket, or whatever. And because it's a bow constrictor, you have to stretch it out. I mean, let it relax. And then we, used to, and back in the day, and Ralph knows this, because Ralph. That's another story, but uh, we didn't have the uh, flash pots back then. We used flat out smoke bombs. And we would light them, and then we would come out on stage. We used to, we opened up with Red Hot Mama by the oh, yeah, uh, Funkadelics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were rushing, and Shazam was all tied up in the thing. It's like, okay, somebody touch me. Okay? Somebody touch me. So the guy says, ladies and gentlemen, we're back there lighting the smoke bombs and the city come up. So George, when he came out, the song went do 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 The smoke came up, he grabbed the snake, Shazam went <laughs> I said, man, George is really into it. <laughs> I said, damn! <laughs> Did he get him off him? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, who used to feed the snake and everything? He used to feed them rats! <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got booked so much in, in the COVID in Philly, man. He tried to get him to clean out the hey, man, place. I got a bad for Shazam. You want to go up there? I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He said, yeah! <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Bro. There used to be a... Uh, hey, we, we, we used to go to Chicken Town. Oh, oh your grow that and there's still an aquarium there. Buy a rat, buy a rat, a white rat what? for Good. Shazam. Uh -huh. And we just go up there at night and go, okay, here we go. And be the mouse would be like, <laughs> oh boy. It was cold, man. So Shazam would be like this, like this way. Yeah. And we would put the rat this way. We go, oh, it is gonna be on. And at first, you know the snake was deep, man. You know, cause he got that scent, because he can't really see. Mm. So the, the snake would be. <laughs> really, really, huh? Snake said, okay, all right. Wait till I smell your ass, okay? <laughs> okay? And he go, wah, 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 wah. Really? We go, ooh. Mm. <laughs> Would it be like a quick, a quick thing or? <laughs> Yo, well, you had to choke him. Yeah. And you know what? The snake would, the snake would choke him and be looking at you like, say something. <laughs> 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 oh, say something. He said, say something. I dare you. I wish you say something. <laughs> he said, I wish you say something. <laughs> he said, don't nobody move. <laughs> Oh, maybe me. Yeah, man, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had it. Oh, George is something, man. Oh, and George was it, but he gets all that, and he can say. <laughs> we, 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 were just, we were just talking about him. We were just driving oh, a car, coming up, up talking about him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, George took a bad path. I fucking peed on myself. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh, that's too much. But that's how I met Meg. I met him through oh, George, man. George. I, I, okay. That was the, what do you call that, the Kevin Bacon 60 degree okay, connection? Yeah. He kills me. Uh, <laughs> oh man, George. So, what about guitar lessons, and are you learning anything? Well, you certainly learned something about snakes. 
Guitar lessons are about lessons learned while playing the guitar. Not just my stories. I'm, I'm out on the road and I meet people and, and they share their stories. It's, this is really a lot of fun and, and it's starting to catch on. In fact, I'm starting to get letters from fans. Uh, I'm going to share with you a letter that I received from, from Dave from Utah. And, uh, oh, Jay, um, I think we decided to sort of wait on that one because some people might think it's a little politically incorrect. Oh, uh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's read one of the other ones. Uh, how, how many others do we have? Uh, hold on a second. Okay. This is a really good story. None. We're, we're going to consult uh, the producer and uh, see what he has to say. So uh, we're just going to take a break. We'll be right back. We're back. It was decided that our producer would take full responsibility for this and that he will actually do the reading. That way, no one can blame me. Dear me, Shay, I'll keep it short. One night, I played a gig with my band at a place we played regularly and always had a good crowd on the dance floor. As the night went on, the place filled with locals. About 10 p.m., a bus showed up out front. We thought, cool. Out of the bus came about 40 people, and they all came in and ordered drinks. We noticed that they were mentally disabled adults, and I believe the director was just trying to show them a good time, like regular folks have on a Saturday night. As the night progressed, they all ended out on the dance floor. And they were drunk. Booze shouldn't be given to retarded folks, but they were all being served. It turned into the craziest gig I ever played. All the locals wouldn't go near the dance floor, as they were being knocked into by out-of-control flailing arms and legs from the handicapped folks. Next thing, they started taking off their clothes, or crying, or running around the place uncontrollably. Two of them puked, on a full table of patrons. It was really sad. I think the director of the bunch was fired and really, retarded people have enough things to overcome without introducing them to alcohol. The bar loved it for a while, as they made a fortune that night. But afterwards, they just couldn't allow that to happen again. I treated them all, with kindness and respect. While all the girls wanted my phone number and all the guys wanted to play my guitar, it was a sad display. There are just some folks that shouldn't be drinking. The bar owner wanted to give us a bonus that night, but we just couldn't take extra for that. It was like dirty money. Can you imagine those poor hungover souls the next morning? It's a gig. I never want to play again. Dave. That was Frank. Thank you, Dave from Utah. Keep those letters coming in, fans. You guys have any use for trolley buttons? Or hey, or I can take one. Oh. You have them all. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all done for the day. Wandering Samaritan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>